<laughs> Actually, venomous. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to the vlog. And today, I'm gonna take you to my other house where I store my reptiles and stocking and stuff, you know, supply that I sell. And we are going to show you some cool animals. Hopefully, you will enjoy this vlog and we'll talk some more about a lot of things so let's go okay guys so now I'm in the house the reptile house I'm calling this in the exotic sanctuary actually it's not so yeah the house basically is just a small house with some cages on it and in the cages of course there's an animal like uh, in this cage you know, far back there, has a bearded dragon, and oh, this is an eating ball python. Yep, another ball python, another swimming ball python. So yeah, I'm um, I'm having pretty much a lot of animals, but some of them are for sales. Only for Indonesian people, Jakarta, no, Indonesia, uh, shipping across Indonesia actually. Only uh, if you guys want to see some kind of uh, my pets, it's a good place to go. This is my friend, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> he's working with me. He's uh, running the business also. A uh, couple of my tiles are being shipped by him. It's actually not. He's not doing anything. It's just doing the Instagram thing. Instagram thing. I must show you one of my friend. He'll climb up soon oh yeah that, that's the guy so this is a blue tongue king basically i keep him from he's just a, sm a small guy like this but he's now a, a bit bigger but not that big pretty big where are you bud come here so yeah this is a blue tongue king he's a, um in this house basically so yeah, that's my other big lizards. Uh, he makes some noises, but this is my blue tongue skink. If you guys want to know, blue tongue skink originates from Indonesia. This is Indonesian one, Maraukian one, and there's also some from the Australia, like the Northerns. And but he's from Indonesia, from our country, from my country. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of him. And he's really, really yellow. You look at this, oh man, he's very, very yellow and beautiful, and I love him. I, I haven't gave a name for him, but probably you would give name to him. Uh, you better give names. Comment down below for his name. I think that's the boy, but you know, Blue Tongue King, it's a little bit hard to determine whether it's a male or female, stuff like that. All right, guys, so that was Blue Tongue Skink. A lot of people asking me what kind of reptiles for newbie, for beginners, what kind of reptiles are good for them. And for me, I would suggest first thing that you should get as a beginner uh, reptile is a leopard gecko. Actually, Blue Tongue Skink is pretty good, but Blue Tongue Skink, you know, it's it can be a little bit hard in terms of um, caging but it, uh, they are not that hot and blue tongue king actually eats not only um, worms but uh, they can eat cat food or dog food that's the good thing about blue tongue skin but with gecko man this guy is really hardy man leopard gecko is just crazy cuz you can pretty much not feeding them for a couple of weeks and they'll be perfectly fine, perfectly amazing like this. As they got fat storage in their tail and that what makes leopard gecko amazing. I mean if you guys want to get a bag of reptiles uh, but don't want snakes but don't want turtles, you can go for a leopard gecko. And uh, here it is, one of my big, bigger blue tongue. Yeah. This is one of my bigger blue tongue. He is big. I mean, this guy is so huge. And yeah, not, not that huge, but pretty huge. And we love him too. Same from Indonesia, Moroccan. 
but look at that. A little bit dark and pretty big. A lot of people wanting him, but I don't really put him to sale, but yeah, I love him so much. Yeah, right now I'm done cleaning all the stuff and uh, turning up lights and ready to go. Boy oh boy, recently I really, really like the song called Finesse from Bruno Mars. That sound was crazy, right? Anybody agree? Yes, of course. Dripping in Finesse. That was amazing, man. That sound really hitting the trending. In just a couple of uh, weeks. I mean, that that pretty amazing. All right, everybody. Now I'm I'm back after going to that house. I'm back to my real house. So I'm now with my friend Monkey. Ah! So this is uh my friend Alex. Uh, he is I don't know. He's Chinese man. Today I want to show you how he reacts towards this. this what is that man? what is that man snake man <laughs> yeah thank you oh, really it's cute man oh, oh, oh. really you no. ain't scared man so yeah all right guys this is a ball python yeah, but it isn't a normal ball python this is a GHI pewter. Actually, it's a she. So she is pretty small. You're not afraid, dude. You ain't afraid, dude. Nope. How about if uh, she bites you? You don't? <laughs> How about no? Why she's look at me? Looking at me. She she wanna bite you on the face, on the nose. No, no, no. She didn't bite. Here's another she. Oh. And she is bigger. Ha! Fuck! <laughs> How are you feeling, dude? Tell, tell, tell the camera. Ah! Tell the camera, man. How did you feel? How did you feel? You feel? <laughs> really? Is that scary? Really? No, 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 no. They're tame, man. So, uh. These boats are a bull python. Bull python originated from Africa. So this is a nigga, man. Ebony. Your nigga. Ebony. Born family channel. Family channel. Python is actually a very great snake for beginner. Really? For beginner. This is a beginner snake. They stay within this size. They can't get really, really big. And why it's good be uh, for beginner? Because uh, it's pretty big to impress your friends, but it's not that big that you can't handle him or her, and it gets too scary. And their faces are really cute, man. If you look at that, that's oh, cute, right? Holy shit. That's cute, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's the reaction of a new guy. <laughs> to a uh, ball python. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, press the thumbs up below. Comment down below. How would you feel if you hold a snake like this, and and you you don't know before that you've been handling a snake? What kind of English is that, man? All right, uh, just uh, give a thumbs up. Hope your day is running well. Uh, don't give up on your dreams. Make your dreams come true. And this is it, Audrey A. Signing out. Peace up. Ini kagak. Ini. Ini. Ini pale naik naik. Oi, pale siapa? Pale ular. Ini ular cewek. Doi doyan ya bagus ni. Ya. Masa masa lu tak aku tak begini ya. Makin kencang ni kau lihat lihat ular. Gimana kalau digigit? Apa yang bakal lu lakuin? Kalau kalah bisa mah gak apa. Eh? Gak ada bisa, gue udah sering kegigit Ya gak apa-apa, ini kan kecil Hah? Gue seremnya tulang gue retak Hahaha Ular mana kuat, retakin tulang lo Anak ular, eh ular 5 meter juga kagak kuat pak Tuh dia diem-diem aja sebenernya, dia jinak banget kan Dia siapa tau lo mau pelihara satu, lo beli dari gue Marketing Gak apa-apa gini-gini aja Tadi dia marah Gak apa-apa gini-gini aja Gak apa-apa, gak apa-apa lo pengen gue digigit kan Kalo digigit 3 jam lo mati Digigit 3 jam gue mati Eh ada bisa, it's venomous man Actually venomous. Uh, yeah. ah! <laughs>
I'm just kidding, dude. It's not. <laughs> It's not. Enggak, enggak berbisa, coy. Enggak berbisa. Tenang aja. Kalau berbisa enggak gue pegang pakai tangan. Nih, di 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 reptile industry itu ada rules-nya. Kalau lu berbisa harus pakai hook pegang yang enggak boleh pakai tangan. Hook tuh kayak gini nih, hook. Tahu gua tahu gua kenal lihat gua ini. Ini ini namanya snake hook. Jadi kalau misalkan berbisa lu harus pakai ini pegang enggak bisa. Ada yang panjang kan itu? Snake hook. Ya, ini pendek bisa dipanjangin. Oh iya. Jadi bawa python mah sans, Bro. Ini sans tapi ngeri juga sih. 